All right. So this is Arceus versus Dialga. The final battle of the Guard Gauntlet Season 2 Qualifier 6 out of 10. Quite a mouthful of a tournament name, I know. Having a Sobble start with a Capture Energy is not bad, considering they do have Melanie as an option to accelerate and then attach that DTE, potentially. So... The opponent is going first, though. So this could be... Could still be anyone's game. But I'm sure this is going to be Capture Energy for Arceus and then keep calling. They might also play the Marnie and try to get other things set down, but I think that's the main thing they'll go for here. Oh yeah, this finer, final is better already than last week's double Mew. I mean, to be fair, there were only two Mew in Top Cut, but they both were on opposite sides of the bracket and, it, and ended up hitting each other in finals. So, it really do be that way sometimes. Yeah, it's definitely a step up. Like, I was kind of, I was really sad. I mean, not really sad because it's like, really, like, at the end of the day, it's a it's Pokemon a, tournament. It's a Pokemon a tournament, and it's slightly the end of the disappointed tournament. that Dialga lost because yeah, like I think I just tuned out of the, the of the finals. Yeah, game. <laughs> for the first game, I was like, I'm trying to keep this interesting, guys. There's not much I can do about this. I think the game kind of just kind of tells it. Yeah, Al story. although to be fair, game two was super interesting because of the very end play, which was the uh, belt triple tablet for KO thing. That being said, I think it's more interesting that the opponent already has a full board state of two Mews, Radiant Greninja, Crobat, and double Dialga already. Yo, yo kind of like that Zacian or the... The, the new one. Oh, that's kind of funny. It's gone like 10 <laughs> or so already. Yeah. I... I don't think Mew is the most interesting mirror, not gonna lie, Z-Man. I just don't enjoy watching Mew versus Mew, both of them drawing a billion cards. But that's it's just me. fun to watch. It's more like... I don't, I don't know. Sure, it's like sure it's it can be kind of complicated like to pilot. Mirror. Yeah, like, it's sort of hard to pilot to as, play. like, a Mew player, but, like, it's not fun to watch. Oh, I thought that was double no. Dialga. I thought that was the alt art Dialga, but that's actually the... That's a Zacian. No, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah. That's a kind of a tough quick. Like, I wonder if you get, like, rid of, like, the choice belt. Yeah. I Archer mean, like... can get another Mon down. Level could get Drizzile. Mm-hmm. Marnie's your supporter. Getting three energy off Intrepid was insane, though. That was... Play, like, 11. They play, I think, 10? 10. Yeah. Okay. All right, give me a second. I'll double check that actually. So I'm not like, it is 11. Okay, you were right. It was 11. Oh, I was just get. <laughs> it was 11. It was 11. I just thought it was 10 based on the previous lists I've seen. But yeah, that's insane. Like if they have boss this turn, they can just KO one of these Arceus, especially the one with the cap on it. Yeah, because otherwise, I don't think an attack happens if you KO the one with the cap. I swear, anytime There's I no... play, anytime I play Zacian, it's either I hit two off Intrepid Sword or I hit nothing off Intrepid Sword. There is no in between. That's that's how I feel. Yeah. Like I, I feel like I, I rarely get like just one. Yeah. Either zero or two or three. Mm-hmm. I feel like more often than not, I get zero for some reason, though. If they have boss and net, then they are in such a good spot right now. I think I have at least one copy of 
of every organization that's on KTCGA. Oh, yeah. I have everything except for this news ACNB. Like, I have all of them. In fact, I have four of the full arts on PTC. Oh, wait, I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the... I don't think I have either promo, actually. Oh, I have both of them. I just don't have the trainer gallery one from this most recent set. So there's was, a saucer. Oh, is that in Japan that there's, like, gonna be, like, a shiny one as well? Yeah. I saw that as well. <laughs> like, okay, I think... I think, I think we have enough, enough Zacian. After, <laughs> like, whatever the one before the trainer gallery one, like, I think, I think like that, I think that was enough. Yeah, I think we've had enough Zacians, especially considering they're rotating. Or, or they're expected to be, like, I don't they're know. What they're definitely rotating. Gonna do. They're a hundred percent rotating. Maybe with just a late announcement. Because <laughs> I feel like... Yeah, because it's like mid-June. I feel like we would hear some something, but eh. Yeah. Maybe. They are going for boss. By any means necessary. If I had to guess, this is probably a... Okay, so they're going to Pyukumuku first. But this is probably a retreat into training court into use the Radiant Greninja again. To try and hit boss. Oh, they already had the energy in hand. Never mind. Tracking shoes. <laughs> they are trying. Wow. There it is. Yeah, I, I kind of realized when they didn't discard that top card... That they were going for specific... That they were picking the boss off the top. But that's insane. I think I got a root for... For Dialga. I just love the whole idea of, like, Turbo and, like... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I love... I, I like, like the idea of time. Two favorite mechanics. Mm -hmm. Taking an extra prize... And taking an extra taking turn. an extra turn. <laughs> yeah. I very much Especially enjoy that as well. taking an extra prize. I played... Um... Plasma Lugia, played the Articuno, I played ADP. I I was not a fan. I'm not a fan of like Turbo because I'm always like a checkmate person. But it's one of the reasons why I love Medicham is I love being able to combo into taking an extra turn. At the very least, they have the a response here. Taking an extra turn can definitely kind of be sort of gimmicky. Like it can be like kind of awkward. But, like, if you get it set up, like, I don't know, like, five energy. Or, like, waiting until something has, like, 20 left. Yeah. But it's also very powerful. Mm-hmm. Very worth it. I saw that the the Samurai Outlist tonight was playing a Metacham. They were not playing, like, a Rapid Strike energy. They were just playing Darks. But uh, the Metacham was really good comboed with the... Like, I've played with the Metacham as well, and I really like it with Metacham, because you can go Samurout V-Star Power, them down to put 40 on, like, a Dunsparce or something like that, and then Yoga Loop it. Yoga Loop. I, uh, yeah, I played this this one game with with it, with uh, Samurai, and, and, like, I was like, oh no, what do I, I, I think I was in, in, like, a bad spot unless I got, like, the Metacham, and I'm like, and I'm like, wait, Raihan, and then like, boss or some something like that. Somehow I pulled it out. But the funniest thing was the Palkia player I did it against KO'd my Metacham and brought it back for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, that's sick. funny. Okay, I'll Ray, Raihan and win. <laughs> that's actually extremely funny. Cause like I had like the um yeah I had like the yoga loop ping on the active and then like like the boss or or something like that yeah can't remember the exact exact details I just remember it just happened that. that that's all it just happened 
I think that's all the details you need to know is, is they brought back Metacham and I got to take four prizes. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Do, do, do. All right. So that is six energy on that Dialga. So they're going to boss that undamaged Arceus to take the KO. Because even with Big Charm, it's still KOing. Yeah, and that kind of means there's no, there's no Sharon available. Yeah. It means there's no Sharon available, and it also means that it's... There's not much response that can be done here. It's not like the previous games where there was no other attacker set up and they were able to KO the Dialga after it. This Dialga has max HP. Wait, sorry, what's this score right now? Is it 1 out for oh, it's, RCS or? it's 0 right now. It's about zero, to be okay, it's about to be 1 0 for the Dialga. Like, this is I game miss, 1. I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, they still share in Scared anyway. They're just gonna sack a one prizer in hope kind of thing. But yeah, I, th I think Gabe has this game on lock. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There's the last boss. It's just there. All right. So they are moving to game two. All right, starting the Sobble seems good. Having capture energy to be able to get down. Okay, so they can quick ball away the water, grab an Arceus, capture away, or not capture away, but capture onto Arceus, get down another Sobble potentially. Dialga is better than people... Yeah, I 100% agree. Dialga is insane. Everyone hyped up Palkia. Everyone thought that Dialga was just going to be a mid-deck. But nah, it's literally up here at the top tables. I'm expecting this weekend in Milwaukee... I kind of read it off. Yeah. I'm expecting this weekend in Milwaukee to see very, very fringe success with Turbo Palkia. But... I expect us to see at least one Dialga in top eight. There's definitely going to be at least one Palkia in top eight in Milwaukee, but there's... I have to say there's got to be a Dialga in top eight as well. I'm sure there's going to be a good, like, diverse top eight for this particular tournament. Might even see something thought, spicy. Yeah, that's kind of wild that... Um, the Australian one that just, like, ate Pelt. I mean, that's partially contributed to the fact that... Uh, partially attributed to the fact that all of the Australian players test against each other and all decided oh, yeah, to true. play Palkia. <laughs> like, I the mean, top two yeah. players were playing a 60-card mirror in finals because they tested the deck and brought the same list together. They probably came together. They did. <laughs> they're all they're they have the same yeah, sponsor. Nice. They're on the same team. They went in with the same <laughs> sixty. They built the deck together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean it, well, I can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, that like that'll happen. That's the thing. Like all Australian players know each other. It's <laughs> it's a small world in Australia. Oh, you got like the. You know, you've got the Natalies, and you got the Henrys, and everyone. Yeah, then you've got the Sableyes as well. Then you've got oh, yeah, Christian and Kaiwen it. as well. Yeah, I saw that they were casting it. But, like, the Sableyes are really good creators. Like, they were some of the people that I ended up getting introduced to early on in, like, getting into the Pokemon TCG in, like, 2017. I just haven't been able yeah, to keep up as like much with them game. because, you know, they're Australian time zone, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Yeah, no, I haven't really cut their streams for that. Yeah, because it's always reason. at, like, 5 in the morning. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How many Celebrations Muse will be played in Top 8? It'll depend. I feel like 
I feel like Suicune, not Suicune, uh, Palkia Inteleon is better than Turbo Palkia. But Turbo Dialga is busted. Yeah. All top eight decks are gonna play four. 30, so therefore 32. Yeah. Not all top eight are gonna be turbo. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, and no, I'm just kidding. Inteleon's like. Although by all tech, by all technicality, I mean, turbo. Yeah. I was just like saying how, and I just feel more people will, or enough people will be com more comfortable with Inteleon. So, let's say for example that we get two turbo decks in top eight, as well as two Mew decks in top eight, and. The Mew players are playing a 4-3 Mew line. Technically, we have... So, we'd have 8 Mew in the Turbo builds. We'd have 14 Mew in the Mew builds. So that would be 22 total Mews in top 8 among 4 decks. That's a lot. That's a lot of Mew. <laughs> Obviously. All right, Pinky, what do you want your roll to be? What does the baby Dialga do? It beats Miltank and gets a card back from discard. Uh, the first attack is get a card back from discard and add it to your hand. The second attack is Metal Blast, which is 60 plus 20 more for each metal energy on it. It is there as mainly a Miltank deck. All right. Australia is the largest oh, local oh, in started, the world. <laughs> oh, they started the puke. I just, I just read. Yeah, they did start the puke, Mugu. But they can also net it for a free draw at any point, it's... really. Subs, error, error. It's okay, that, I'll give you that bat, rule. I suppose. Yeah, definitely better than starting a bat because you, can, you can't net a bat. Yep. All right. Let me give Pinky their new roll, their shiny new gold error roll. The 4F. 4F4. Yep. <laughs> It'd be that way. <laughs> All right, I need a straight up gold color. It's like about you here. know, you know, all these other people are like, haha, sixty nine, haha, four twenty, haha, four oh four, like, and like, yeah, exactly, and you're just haha, four oh four, haha, error, error, error. <laughs> so double spin for zero. Wow, huh? That's I guess. I mean, I don't, Why? I don't know. I didn't want to put the Arceus in harm's way. I don't really I, know yeah, if he had I, anywhere else to put the capture, I guess. I'm not sure. I actually have no idea. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Damn, Fat Apple's own, own clap stadium. Like, just one arc, yes, and then a potential for for a boss. Yeah. Th yeah, th there's the boss. I feel like this is just going to be a very quick game, too. And that is just going to probably be Gabe winning the tournament. That's not even... Oh, wait, that was the V-Star power. So it's just going to be straight up three prizes here. With no response. Yeah, I'll go winning yeah, another tournament. Th yeah, this isn't even a repeat of game one. This is worse than game one for the Arceus player, because the Arceus player only got one Arceus down. Which is insane. Their own collapse meant they couldn't get another one down. Yeah. They were actually stuck by their own collapse stadium, which is definitely rough. Ironic. Mm-hmm. Ironic, but also rough. Do, do, do. Yeah, it looks like Dialga is going to be winning another big event back-to-back. -back. Crazy. Yeah, I definitely didn't take that card 
seriously at at first and Fat Apple's gonna go out in style with some double spins. Yup. Thirty Plus damage, 30. baby. Thirty damage. The thirty thanks to the choice belt. Yeah. The double turbo reducing the twenty. Yep. Do 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 Uh, let me see. Calling it Dialga wins Milwaukee. Thing is, I can like, see it. I mean, I mean, not that fire is like super popular, but with like everyone playing Palkia, it's like Dialga's like, oh wow, I can kind of go unchecked. Yeah, like Dialga's super huge right now. I feel. I feel it's the deck that people are not worried about testing against, despite the fact that it's super good.